Good afternoon, this is Brian Split with Allendale here for your closing commentary for the week ending July 15th, 2011. And uh, halfway through the month of July, we did have uh, uh, another volatile session. Uh, as far as settlements today, September corn was up 10.5 cents at 7.01 and a quarter, so we did close over $7 a bushel in the lead contract. That is up 59 cents on the week. Uh, December was up six and a half today at 685, and that is up 48 on the week. And uh, after the close, it was reported that the funds did buy an estimated 8,000 contracts of corn today. As far as the soybean market, did finish a little bit higher, but off the highs. Uh, August was up three and three quarters at 13.85 and three quarters. Uh, that is up 39 cents on the week. We had new crop uh, November up three cents at 13.87. That is up 40 and a half on the week, and uh, it was estimated the funds bought approximately 3,000 contracts of soybeans today. As far as the wheat markets, we did have selling hit the wheat today. Uh, December Chicago down 14 and a half at 7.23 and a half. Uh, even with today's losses, that is up 33 cents on the week. The December Kansas City contract down one and a quarter today at 7.89 and three quarters. That is up 35 and three quarters on the week. And the September Minneapolis contract was down five and a quarter today at 8.23 and three quarters. And that is up six and three quarters on the week. Uh, again, estimated uh, fund activity were sellers of approximately 3,000 contracts. But uh, at this point, we're right in the midst of a weather market. Uh, in the past month of trade, we've had three USDA reports cause a $1.50 sell-off in new crop corn and subsequently a $1.20 rallies off of the, that low. Uh, you add the uh, hot and dry that's been in the forecast, and uh, we've got added volatility with that. So we're right in, in the uh, full swing of this weather market, um, expecting a lot of volatility again next week based on what the weather, weather models suggest. Uh, we are still looking at extremely hot temperatures and uh, relatively dry as far as the majority of the Midwest. So uh, that should keep support under this market. Other than that, uh, as far as soybeans, really the past year we've been, or, or for the, the course of this year since we've started 2011, uh, we've been maintaining a range, range of $13 on the low end for November and $14 on the high end. So we're back up near this $14 area. Uh, again, we've traded a handful of times through $14, but not ha have not settled above that. And uh, we may expect if we do close over $14 and, and uh, corn starts making some new highs that we have uh, higher prices yet to come. Um, so if you look at some of the uh, yield expectations with this heat coming uh, in the next several weeks, we could see conservatively 5% yield reduction off a trend line. Um, you know, that would project ending stocks quite a bit lower from where they are projected right now. Uh, if we see further losses, this is going to be uh, still a, a, a bull market to come. So uh, how long it takes to price in those results, um, you know, we're really not going to see what kind of damage we have to this crop uh, over the next several weeks as we get the crop progress results and the good to excellent ratings. But that's definitely going to be something the trade's looking at very intensely. Uh, as far as the uh, meat markets today, we did have some mixed trade there. Uh, August hogs up about 75 points going into the last trade in the Globex market. October was up just five points at 91.62, uh, August at 98.92. And really we've had some uh, increase in export activity that's been supportive to the market. There's been talk of uh, China, Japan, Russia, and South Korea all uh, shopping around for some U.S. pork. And uh, right now we've got this heat that's been uh, causing some weight loss. Uh, we've got the, the corn costs rising, and also uh, the breeding herd effects from this heat are all keeping a, a very uh, good amount of support under this market. So um, the cattle, same issues at play here. We've got this heat on one end that is going to reduce the actual supply of, of meat uh, with the uh, weights not being gained. So the feedlots have been more aggressive uh, selling the uh, animals here with them not being able to gain weight. Uh, we're also contending with the idea that we're losing demand from the grilling uh, because with this heat, I'm not going to be out there grilling steaks when it's 100 degrees out. So uh, that's the, the battle that we have is potential loss supply but also loss demand. And uh, we feel that the loss in demand is going to outweigh the loss in supply with this issue here. But it uh, looks like as far as August cattle up 27 last in the Globex at 110.82. Uh, October down 22 at 116.97. Uh, we did have cash trade a dollar lower here today at 110. And uh, as far as outside market activity, uh, we had a couple issues here 
we've got the talk of the debt ceiling. Uh, what are we going to do there? And we've also got the uh, stress tests of several European banks coming out today with eight of those banks failing. So uh, there's, again, resurging concerns about uh, what are we doing in Europe and uh, the debt contagion over there. But as far as last trade in several of these markets, uh, coming into this recording, crude oil is up at about $1.50 at 97.19. Dow futures down about 17 points. S&P down about 2 points. NASDAQ up about 5 points. Gold was up two dollars today at uh, 1591. Silver up 35 cents at 39.04. Um, one other market worth mentioning: December cotton down the five cent limit again today. We've got a very ominous head and shoulder top that currently projects near 80 cents a, a pound here. So um, you know that's really right back to where this massive rally started, and uh, had um, uh, more downside potential here if uh, if this thing continues. So watch that market as well. But that's all I got here to wrap up the week. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-2-MARKET. That's 1-800-262-7538. And also check our research out online at www.allendale-inc.com. Good luck trading to you next week. Thank you.